The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unu Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Coming in. Here we go, everybody. Hey, everyone. It's Maria from What's the Story with Maria. How's it going? So, uh, happy Tuesday, September 25th. We are on Armed Radio, armeddigitalmedia.com, and Armed Radio Global. Uh, that is under, uh, the Armed Radio is our mother station, and we Renee has checked in. Uh, Justine Mary has checked in, Liz Nagengas McGraw has checked in, Richard Coick has checked in, Chris Piero, hi, oh my god, so many great people are checking in, Mandar Chick Magnet, Mandar Chick Magnet, that's it Mandar, you have been Dawn Chick Magnet now, Ryan Bristol has joined, so hi everybody, um, so we want to welcome you to our show Tonight, I have the Santoros of Paramus joining us. Now, uh, there's been a little adjustment because I don't, depending on where you are in the country, and I think almost anywhere you are in the country, the weather is crazy. So if you're down south, you've been getting uh, hurricanes and floods and all that stuff. So now it's coming up our way. And um, let me just keep checking here. Um, Okay, Renee, you're there, honey. Renee's going to call in. John Satram has called in. Hi, John. we got to talk about getting you on the show. Uh, Chris DiPiero, I want to talk to you, too. Maybe I can get you to call in tonight because I want to talk about the film uh, festival that you were in this weekend. All right. So here's what happened. So I had Renee Lordi, who was a Santoro, Sylvia and Charles Santoro scheduled to come. I cooked and everything. And... Renee called me about 5.30 and said, you're not going to believe this, but there's like major flooding where we are. And so I knew it was bad because I was out and about today. I had an audition downtown. I, I was soaked. It was crazy. But uh, out in Jersey, they really got hit. So when I saw the pictures she sent me, and you can see them on Facebook, she posted them, there was some serious flooding coming up. So I didn't want anybody to get, uh, you know, come over on boats across the GW. So we decided to do call-ins instead. So Renee's going to call in at about, maybe in about 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll, we'll work that out. Leah Sutton uh, is uh, checking in. Leah, you're in Florida. Are you guys having crazy weather or did, they, did it skip you? Billy Hess has joined in. We're talking about the weather a little bit. It's been like nuts. I know uh, Colleen Harris, my friend Colleen Harris, she's in South Carolina, I think. Um, Janet. Uh, Little Horn, she's a teacher friend of mine, and she's in North Carolina. They got hit really bad. Yeah, boat across the Hudson, Mandar, that's right. Irina Cornelli Berge, my cousin, has joined us. She is going to call in at the end of the show. You know, she's our family meteorologist. And what better time than tonight for Irina to call in and tell us the weather in Massachusetts. Eddie Kutu has joined us. He is my friend. He owns Blade Salon in Old Westfield, Connecticut. So, hi, Eddie. How are you? And Eddie, one of the people calling in tonight is my friend Renee, and her son is in a uh, marching band out in, uh, I think it's Bergenfield. Renee will tell us about that. And I thought of you, when I see pictures of Kyle, I think of you, Eddie, because Eddie is a big, uh, when we were in high school, was a really big marching band guy. And um, so we talked about that a little bit. All right, Cliff Saunders has joined us. Oh, my God, Cliff Saunders from Canada? Cliff, happy anniversary to you and Elizabeth, your beautiful wife. I know you just celebrated an anniversary, and I love all the pictures that you were posting and all that stuff. So um, anyway, we want to thank everybody that comes in week after week after week. So there's a couple things that I just want to uh, talk about tonight. I want to, first of all, happy birthday to two of my favorite people. They happen to both be born on the same day. They both happen to be musical geniuses, and, and I just adore them. Michael Isaacs, 
and Naples Cherry. They have the same birthday, and it it's absolutely makes sense because they're both delightful human beings. So we are starting Libra season. Anybody that knows anything about horoscopes knows Libras are wild. Some of my best friends, closest people, and people that I adore and have loved for years and years are Libras. So happy Libra season. Um, Mandar, you are not born on the 4th of July, were you? Oh, my God. Anyway, Fernando uh, has joined us. Hi, Fernando. All right, so it's the beginning of Libra season. Happy birthday to Michael. Uh, Dawn has called. Yes, Dawn, it's Michael's birthday today. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that Michael Isaacs is at Brandy's tonight starting at 930. So after you watch the show, fly over to Brandy's and tell Michael Isaacs happy birthday and that you love him. He's delightful. I don't know where Nate is tonight. He might be still traveling or maybe he's back. And he's at Brandy's, I believe, on Fridays. Michael's there on Tuesdays and Sundays. Nate is there on Fridays. And I don't know the rest of Nate's schedule, but maybe people can type that in. All right, so I wanted to do that right off the bat. And I also um, want to say happy uh, heading into the playoffs baseball season. So there's a lot of amazing stuff now. If you haven't watched baseball all season, you might want to start watching now. Hi, Cindy Nathan. Long time no see. Where you been, Cindy? I missed you. So Cindy uh, Chacha has joined us. Um, so hi, babe. Um, Cliff Saunders is saying my mom, my mom's was today. Oh, today is and Lizzie's is tomorrow. Oh, so uh, Cliff, you are surrounded by beautiful Libras. Kia Nelson has joined us from Philly. How you doing, Kia? And Mandar, happy birthday, Michael Isaacs. Yes, so we're talking about Libras. Libra season has begun. Libra season goes all the way, I think, to October 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. So if you know anybody whose birthday is between now and then, they're wild people. A lot of them are in the entertainment business. They love shoes. I can tell you that. And they love nice things. Penny James uh, is a Libra. My friend Rue is a Libra. A lot of that stuff going on. So, okay, also baseball season is upon us. I mean, not is upon us. The playoffs are, we're at the cusp, right? We're beginning the end of the, the full season. Hi, Anthony Borelli. How are you? Back to baseball. That's right. Uh, so it's the end of the season going into the playoffs soon. So a couple of teams have already clinched, and, and but there's so many tight races. So let me see. Um, the Red Sox, my team, have clinched the AL East. With, and right now, right now, and they still have, I think, eight more games to play, they're at 106 wins. That is a record. So they just uh, tied, a couple of days ago, they tied their all-time record for, um, for most games won in a season. And I think they just beat it yesterday. So that's like an amazing feat. Uh, a, a, just a, an amazing team we have this year. Also, the Astros, who were the um, World Series champions last year, uh, my friend Stephanie Lane's team, the Astros have clinched their division, and that's the American League West. Also, I believe, Cleve, has Cleveland clinched? Or, I mean, they're probably going to clinch it, right? So Cleveland is... American League Central. In the National, um, the Braves look, I think they did clinch it. And that is the National League East. The Cubs National, oh, oh, I don't know if they've clinched it yet, but I, I believe they're probably going to clinch it. So the National uh, Central, National Central Division. And then, neck and neck, literally half a game, the Dodgers and the Colorado Rockies are neck and neck. So I have no idea what's happening. And I know my friend Leo Rodriguez, his team are the Dodgers. So I'm pulling for them. But then Ryan and, um, and CT, they're out in Colorado. So, But I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. So you, what the, what the race you want to watch is um, the, uh, they're out National League, maybe West. Yeah, I would. I would think that's it. Now, wild card. If anybody can type that in, I know the Yankees and I believe the Oakland A's are are vying for that. Although maybe the Yankees are already in it. I'm, 
Can somebody, if anybody, uh, maybe Anthony Barilli knows about this. Anthony, let me know what have they clinched that wild card yet? So I don't know, but there's a lot of really good baseball right now. I think today a lot of teams got yes, okay, they clinched. The Yankees did right, Chris DePiro? So they are in the wild card. Are the Oakland A's in, or did they beat them out? What's happening there? Um, yeah, the Yankees clinched. Okay, thank you, Anthony Barilli and Chris DePiro. So this is going to be a most exciting playoff. I mean, like like nail biter playoff season because a lot of teams that won their divisions they were great in the division but really games wise they weren't so up there so we'll see like like for instance the Yankees clinched the wild card but um, they had so many more wins than say like the Cleveland Indians or um, even maybe the Astros I'm not sure but they were really high up there this year so, and a lot of these uh, new managers are up for manager of the year, like um, uh, uh, Cora, Alex Cora, who is uh, the manager of the Boston Red Sox. He's a young guy. And uh, also uh, Boone, he is a, you know, a new manager. So there's a lot of, and there's another one I can't remember, but I was looking at all the young managers. There's a lot of young managers. It's the Angels have clinched the playoff spot. Thank you, Kyle de Blasio, but they don't, they didn't have that many wins. The Angels, what, are they, did they beat out the Dodgers? No, no, the Angels are in the East, right? Okay, all right, so there's a lot going on. So that's baseball talk right now. All right, you know what I think we're going to do now? So, uh, and Chris DiPiro, I, I, they have home field, okay. Chris DiPiro, maybe in, a, uh, in about 15 or 20 minutes, I would love you to call in quickly and tell us how the film festival went. So I'm going to have Renee Lordi is going to call in first. And then we're going to have Sylvia and um, uh, Sylvia Santoro and her husband, Charles. Charles! They're going to call in and we're going to talk a little bit. And then maybe uh, we'll have Chris call in and then we'll finish the show with my cousin Rena. Because I want to get everybody in. And listen, the rain does not stop. What's the story with Maria? Do you understand? Our guests may have been flooded out, but the show will go on. And I also cook delicious food, which we'll talk about later. And so, of course, I'm going to eat it. Kyle, let me see. Uh, Oh, everything's going by so fast. Okay. All right. Yeah, Renee, why don't you call in right now? We'll have Renee Lordi, who is a Santoro, call in. We'll talk to Renee. Um, And then, yeah, she's going to call in any minute. We'll go from there. So we have a lot to cover tonight. I'm also going to talk about some of the new uh, stuff that's happening on Broadway. All right. So there's Renee. Let me put her on speaker. Renee, can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm great, honey. Now, I'm going to ask you, only because I have the AC up, I'm going to ask you to speak a little bit louder and we get you closer. So uh, you've started school already. Renee is a teacher, by the way. I did. So you you started school already. And um, you are in the same school now, or you've or you've switched schools? No, I'm still in the same school. Next year, I should be back in the middle school. Actually, two middle schools teaching theater. Okay. I'm developing a theater program for middle school, and I'm going to head it and run it. Wow! This is a new yeah. development, right? Totally new. I was a sixth grade teacher for nine years teaching ancient history and uh, American history, and then I moved to fifth grade and I teach every subject. Is that true? Yeah, literally, I teach every subject. And this year, on top of teaching every subject, they threw health at us. Wow. Now I have to teach health on top of everything. So I am welcoming this change. Now, this yeah, was, was what made you, what, uh, because you've been teaching for, what, at least 20 years now, right? Yes, this is now my 21st year in Duma. Wow. In New Jersey. I'm oh. out in Jersey. Okay, I know you're out in Jersey, and those pictures that Renee posted, if you guys go to, um, go to my page where I talked about Renee and her parents being on the show today, and then Renee sent me these pictures of, so is it still flooding? Has the rain stopped at all? The rain finally <clears throat> eased up. But I think it's it's not done yet. Is it receding a little bit? 
Or, I mean, your basement it, isn't flooded, it is. is it? No, thank God. I keep checking. Okay. And I'm like, I keep going down there. I have the humidifier on, and no, we're, it's just around me. Yeah. Thank God my block isn't bad. It's just around me that I'm like, I need to be careful. Yeah. And then, like, the major streets around me are closed. Yeah, that no, that's crazy. I mean, when you, when you called, I knew it was bad because I had been out and about in it. But then, <clears throat> when I saw those pictures, I really got, I, I got it. So yeah, it was bad. So I'm disappointed. I was, we were all looking forward. I know, and I made a deal with you, and I wanted the big chicken. I know. I the chicken and well, because I said to you, what do you guys want to eat? Because I was gonna make like clams. With linguine, I mean clam, linguine with clam sauce. But you said, "No, nah, I'm not really. That's not really yeah, my I'm thing." Not a clam person. That's okay. And then you said, "How about chicken, little grilled chicken?" I was like, "That sounds delicious." So I made it especially oh, for you. I know. Well, listen, you can't stop nature, can you? No. There's nothing you can do about it. So now, let me ask you: What made you decide to go the route of teaching theater? Theater. Okay. So number one. They're starved. The kids are starved for the arts. Right. They only get the arts in high school. So when I get them in the younger grades, they're so excited to do a reader's theater. I mean, I always do um, the Charles Dickens play, and the kids are so excited. They're, just, they're excited. Yeah, to yeah. The they're like, please, can we be the narrator? And I'm like... Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to stop you for a second because Renee was very excited about saying Leo Rodriguez, and you know who has joined us now? Oh, he's on. He's yes, on. she was working on her Leo. Okay, so watch now. Guess who's joined us now? You have to say it. Leo Rodriguez. Very good, Renee. So Leo Rodriguez has joined us. Also, I've been practicing though for him. I can't believe that. Leo, can you believe that? Renee has been practicing. I'm going to scroll down here. We have a lot of people that have joined us. Louis Goldberg. Uh, Sylvia has joined us. Your mom's joined us. Julie Gus Schneider. Hi, Julie. You're talking about uh, teenage kids that are talented. Julie's kids are very talented. Sig um, uh, De Miguel has joined us. Isabella Raskowski. That's my cousin Marisa. Uh, Rachel Pierce. Oh, my goodness. So many. Gene Simpson Dunn. Well, these are all theater people. Okay, so Renee, so okay. you said, what well, Renee was so talking about. I decided to do it. Okay. So here's actually a story about my son. Yes. Who really encouraged me to go after what I wanted. And how old is Kyle now? I'm 46. I'm 46, and I'm pretty set in my ways. But he was, he was in seventh grade at the time, and we lived in Waldwick. And he's like, Mom, I want to be in Bergen County Honors Band. It's okay. So we tried out, and he didn't make it. Okay. So I said, okay, Kyle, we could, you know, play for fun. And he plays the euphonium, which is a mini tuba. Yeah, and it's also not an instrument that most kids would pick up, right? No. It's, it, no, it's, it's more on the rarer side. Yeah. So I said, okay. And he goes, but Mom, I want to be the first kid from Waldwick to ever make an honor stamp. Wow. I said, I said, okay. So he goes, Mom, I want to try out for region band. Now, this is three times as harder. And I said, okay. So besides working with a teacher, I got him a tutor. Wow. And needless to say, I would love to say he made it, but needless to say, he got blown out of the water. Wow. So, so yeah, that's how hard this Kyle, is. Right. So I said, Kyle, it's okay. We could play yet again for fun. No, Mom, no, Mom, I want to be the first kid. I said, okay. So now eighth grade comes along. He has two tutors and works with a teacher, and the Bergen County auditions come around, and not only did he score first chair, wow. he was second in the whole entire county. Wow. Yeah. Then he made region bands. He was second chair for that, and then he tried out as a freshman, for Bergen County Band, which is hard. He's going up against seniors. And he made that. That's amazing. So it's like, you know what? I have a kid here that's not giving up on what he truly wants. Right. Why should I give up on what I truly want? Isn't that and wonderful? I always love theater. I went to school originally to be a creative dramatics teacher, but in New Jersey they cut all those jobs. Wow. So I went along a different route. 
And I'm like, you know what? Now they're bringing it back. And I'm like, I'm doing it. I haven't taken the test since 1994. Yep. I really prepped for it. And I passed, and now I'm going to be getting that job. That so is I'm amazing. Really and excited. also, you guys have a new governor now. So, we do. yeah, I we think do. things are going to get better. Who's more for the teachers. Who's yeah. Definitely more for the teachers than our past governor. And that's Phil Murphy, right? Yeah. Phil Murphy, and he's a Democrat. So thanks, Phil Murphy, bringing that stuff back. Um, yeah. And uh, also I want to talk about, now, Kyle, he's in Bergenfield Band, right? Right now, right? Right. So we moved. Yep. My, you know, Kyle is a big music person. He's not into sports. I said he was a kid on the baseball field who would, like, run in and, yeah. like, you know, yell, hi, mom, while running in or dancing in the outfield. Yeah. And it just wasn't for him. He tried every sport. God knows the poor kid. And it just wasn't for him. And but that's why music like, is so great. And he really found his niche. And yeah. He said, you know, this is my peanut butter to, to my jelly. Like, yeah. this, is, this is it. And he goes, I, I found where I fit in. And if you see all those pictures of him online, the only time he really smiles is when oh, he's in band. He's so happy when he's in band. He loves it. So he happy. It. And I'm I'm so proud of him. And uh, you tell him that. And also, don't they have an event this weekend? That What's the big event at the Bergenfield? Okay. So I moved to Bergenfield in literally like two months. Okay, yet again, I'm trying to learn from my son. I said, I said, Kyle, if you want to be involved, if you want to make friends, since we're in a new town, be involved. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to take my advice. So I became involved. So I am running a band festival. Wow. I have never run something this big ever. I said, I feel like I'm planning a wedding, but I could still eat because I have no dress settings. Oh, my God. Like, it's, it's pretty big. We have eight phenomenal bands coming. I mean, I planned literally everything down to a T. And I'm so excited because we're walking in, and it's a U.S. band for that. We're walking, and we're already in a profit, on the profit side. That's so, really fantastic. And I'm my really friend really my friend Eddie Kutu, who joins us every week, was a big, big band guy growing up. So uh, that's what I was talking about, Eddie, when you, when you joined us. Because I remember going with Eddie, and all of us would just follow Eddie around to all these band events, and it was so exciting. I just, oh, so I love exciting. this stuff. It's like, really amazing. So I, uh, and I... You know what's funny? Yeah. Is watching my mother. When you talk to my mother... Yeah, well, she's going to call in mother. after you, so... This, this was her alma mater. So, we moved to her alma mater, so... I love this. will be performing... And she'll be standing up. She doesn't care who's behind her. I don't. I, I can't Stand wait. Up. So sh she's going to call in now. So we'll we'll start the conversation with that. Um, okay. All right. So Renee, thank you so much for calling in. I'm sorry that that you guys are getting flooded out over there. Oh, you're welcome, and I hope to see you soon. Yes, honey. And I uh, love you, and I'll see you I'm soon. Keep practicing my Leo Rodriguez. Leo Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody do it. Oh, my God. We're going to start something big. This is big. Okay, thank you, sweetheart, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay. All right, bye, honey. All right, so that was Renee. Renee called in. Now, Sylvia is going to call in any second, um, and Sylvia is Renee's mom, and, sh and we're going we're gonna to start with talking about the man. So, Sylvia, why don't you call in here? Um, all right, so in the meantime, let me just check. Everybody else was checking. Peter Ianello has checked in with us. Meg Peg Gallagher, speaking of marching band, Meg, when I was in high school, I think you were in Color Guard, Meg, and I, aren't your kids are very involved, I think, in band, right? So, okay, here's Sylvia. Hold on. Hi, Sylvia. Let me put you on speakerphone, honey. Okay, hi, Maria. Hi, sweetheart, and just raise your voice a little bit. So we can, uh, I'm going to put you on the microphones. Okay, honey, how are you? How's the weather out there? Pretty bad, right? Yeah, it's not a very good day. I'm so disappointed we weren't able to be with you tonight. I know. I really I really wanted you to be here. and, and But listen, this has happened to us a few times. And, and sometimes on my end. I mean, do you remember that one time that you cooked eggplant for me? And I was supposed to come out and then Judy... Uh, was not feeling well. Remember, she ended up in the emergency room. This was a couple years ago. That's right. That's right. So sometimes these things happen. What are you going to do? Don't work 
worked out, but it's disappointing. I was looking forward to seeing you and hearing all about Italy. The well, trip looked amazing. Yeah, well, we could definitely talk about Italy, but first I want to talk about... Uh, Renee was telling us about uh, Bergenfield and and Kyle uh, being in marching band and how great he's doing, and they have this huge event this weekend. And I heard that it, it's also your alma mater. It is. So it is. It is the Juilliard of band. It's the Juilliard. And you, do you know who else went there? Darius Frowner. You know my friend Darius Frowner, who's a yes, yes. He went to Bergenfield, and he said. Everything he learned about uh, being a musician and the musical director that he is now, he learned there. Yeah. It was, I mean, of course, I was, you know, in the band in the 60s, and it was very different. But um, Bergenfield was always noted for the wonderful band that they had. I actually think that the band today in Bergenfield is even better than when I was in school. Well, when, when, a certain, when schools have a certain standard, uh, you know, they usually keep it. And, and if they have a reputation for that, you know, that's... Yes. So Bergenfield is an honor to be a part of the band. Yeah. And it's, a, and it's a family. And that really worked out very well for Kyle. He fit right in, and uh, he felt, you know, he feels like he belongs, and he's doing something that he truly loves, and he excels in it. So I'm, of course, thrilled because it's my, my school. Yeah. And my, and my field. So uh, it's quite exciting to watch him when he's on that field. Yeah, and he looks so happy. You, I, you know, I see a lot of my friends' kids are um, are singers or musicians, and I just, I always say that, I always think like, you know, everybody's good at different things. You know, some some kids are jocks, some kids are are you know brainiacs, and and what, whatever it is. But like, if you find music or the arts, you're going to fit in. Everybody's fits in somewhere. You know, like. Most kids, I think, and most adults always feel like they, they don't fit in everywhere. But when you find a community of people that, that think like you do and celebrate the same things, you, there's no way for you to lose. It's a win-win, you know? Yeah, no, it's, it's a, it, um, my, both my children were involved in the music department and theater, and um, they did very well with it. And it was very happy, and it was always a nice group of kids that they were involved with. Yeah, and and Chuck, who uh, your son Chuck, who you know is my friend. I met him first, and then, um, and then you guys adopted me. And then I always say you're my Italian family away from my Italian family. I've spent many a holiday with the Santoros of Paramus. Many, many a holiday. More to come. Many more to many. come. Now listen, Absolutely. I want to talk to you for a second about Italy because I, you know, I loved it. And you guys had been there before me. Yeah. I loved it. Now, the only thing I wanted to talk to you about, what did you think of the Vatican? Tell the truth. Oh, I, well, I was over, well, I've been to many countries, and every country has their own churches. And I think there's only one Vatican. And, I think every, and if you're a Catholic, I think everybody should see it. Well, I got yeah, I got to tell you, I, I, the gaudiness of it and the, and the over-the-top of it, was like a little, a little like, uh, you know, when I think about like all that money going in there. And so I walked out with a little bit of a like, a, I don't know, a bad taste in my mouth. But then the Pope appeared in the window and okay. addressed the crowd. And he was so sweet. Oh, he's very sweet. Isn't he? I, he's just so sweet. And I, I got this like warm feeling come o that came over me. And I was like, okay, all right. You know, there's this balance, but um, I loved Rome. Did you? I loved Rome. I just thought it was incredible. Did you go to the Colosseum? I did. It's so spooky, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's did a. Did you go to any other city besides Rome? Uh, we went to Rome. We went to Tuscany, and then we went to Milan. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Tuscany I've never been to, but I have been to Milan. Yeah, Milan. Milan's a little um, fancy schmancy for me, but it was still beautiful. And that it's more like New York. What, honey? You know, it's more like New York, I think, Milan. Yeah, it's a little bit like San Francisco, too, like some of the, yeah. you know. But um, I, I, what I, now we're going to go back, hopefully, um, and, and go to the Amalfi Coast, Naples, Florence. I wanna, now I'm like, I got the bug, you know. 
Yeah, absolutely. I so, mean, I've been there three times, but I'll go another three. Yeah, there's just something about it, right? Yes. And I've been to many countries, but I always, you know, go back to Italy. It's my favorite. Well, that's that's the mother country, right? Yeah, oh my God. And the food. Did you love the food? Are Korea? you kidding me? I, I, could, I, I, I didn't know what to do with myself. What was your favorite thing that you that uh, you would eat when you were there? Uh, well, I, when I would wait to go into the Vatican, I would get a panini with the uh, fresh mozzarella and prosciutto, and they would warm it up. Unbelievable, right? The, the mozzarella and the prosciutto is to die. How about the tomatoes? Yeah, the tomatoes, even the pizza, they call margarita. Yeah. And I love their, pizza, I love their sauces. They're all very, very light. And, and the I gelato. <laughs> but I got to tell you something, and I don't know if you agree with me, and a lot of people might get mad, but I actually like the cannolis in New York better than the cannolis in Italy. Did you? I don't know if I had a cannoli when I was there. I had a pasta truck when yeah. I was in Naples, and that was the best. That was really good. You know what it is about the cannolis in Italy? And, and I was talking to somebody. They don't add as much sugar as we do, and I think that might be it. Oh, okay. It's Thank a little you. more, you know, but uh, that's the only thing. I, I mean, they were delicious, and God knows I ate one every day. But of I had to. Um, but I got to say, for my money, Rocco's on Bleecker Street down in the village is still my favorite cannoli. Well, I have never had one, so I'll well, try that. Well, that's where we're going next time. We're gonna, we'll go to Spaghetto's for Italian food, and then we'll go to Rocco's, okay? That makes I would love to say hello to your husband. Put him on, Charles. Charles. Yes. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm 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 good. And you're you're the only Boston Red Sox fan that I love. I know. And well, I was going to say you're the only Yankee guy that I love, but I also love Chris DiPiro. as much as he drives me crazy. But I do love him very much. So hey, listen, the Yankees are unbelievable this year. I mean. Unbelievable. So it's going to be a really amazing season, uh, playoff season. So Hopefully they can get past that first game and then play Boston again. Well, who, who, are they play, who would they play first? I don't even know. I guess I'll have to ask Chris. I don't know. They don't Oakland. Yeah, Oakland maybe, right? They're playing the advantage right now. They're winning to two, I think. Wow. Yeah, this is a tight race. I got it. It is. I got to ask you something. What? Speak, just put, raise your voice, though, Charles. What? Well, raise your voice a little bit. I was going to say, Tony and Tina's wedding. Yeah. Wasn't that? That was amazing. Now, let me just fill in the audience. So, this is what happened. Uh, Charles Jr., who we call Chuck, who is uh, their son, pulled together this amazing surprise party for his dad, her dad's 70th birthday, and got all of us actors to play roles in Tony and Tina's wedding. We did it in New Jersey. Um, and he told his dad, because uh, that the, the actor that played Mr. Nunzio, who is one of the main characters that plays the dad, was sick or couldn't do it. So he had to go on and learn this role. So you had to learn this, and you d were fooled up until the show actually until started. That day. Oh my, until, until that day. That day. Script in the mail, got a script in the mail, started reading it, underlining everything. I've seen Tony and Tina's wedding probably 20 times with different actors playing different parts, including my son and you. Yeah. And uh, that day you played Mrs. Uh, Mrs. V. Uh, I played your nemesis. Yes, yes. I have pictures of us. It, it was unbelievable. People didn't know. What they were coming to? No, they had no idea, and you didn't Brian know. Martin, was it a play? They didn't know, and I didn't know until the last minute when I started seeing the actors coming off the bus. Yeah. My God, it's a good thing I read the script. Yeah, we really pulled. I mean, all of us really pulled it off that day because a lot of us had never played the roles that Chuck assigned us to. We just kind of got those scripts and and winged it, but we did it. That was a wonderful, wonderful thing. But I gotta tell you, the biggest act was my wife. She kept everything a secret till that day. Unbelievable. I could not believe it, I could not believe it what she did. Yeah, it was well, just the 70th birthday. 
everybody who was there had a great time. They still talk about it to today. Yeah, your Navy buddies so, were there, right? Some of my uh, my fishing buddies, my yeah, you know, a lot of people, my my counterparts in the insurance business, all that. And now, listen. I also didn't you make a, the cover of a fishing magazine recently? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a big fisherman, right? It was called the Autumn Years. I made it. Um, me and my uh, fishing buddies were in it and stuff like that. And we had some pictures of the office. It was really good. Yeah, that was, was amazing. Good. Well, listen, I, I love you so much. I love you both, and uh, thank you for calling in. I really wish you could have been here, but what are we going to do, right? I know. Well, hopefully we'll see you soon, Maria. Yes, honey, we will. We'll go We'll go out to eat. What, honey? I said we'll take a rain check. Yeah. Back in the yeah, we will have to take literally a rain check. <laughs> All right, right? <laughs> no more rain. No more rain. All right, listen, I love you both, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Love you, Maria. All right, love you too, honey. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so that is that. Those were the Santoros of Paramus, uh, Sylvia and Charles, and uh, Renee. She called in first, so I really, really wanted to have them on so badly tonight. And I made all this delicious chicken. And you know what? As my mother used to say, no matter how much technology we have, God is still in charge the weather so um anyway let me keep checking in on who's calling uh, ryan madigan has checked in oh my god christy i can't believe it get over here oh my god this is christy Pierre. i was just gonna tell you to call in i can't believe this come and sit with me let me move this come here come here oh my god i was like she has chicken you uh, have to. I, I, I love that you can. Because, of course, I, he has uh, keys to my apartment. I, I, I love you. Keys. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you so much. And Rizzo <laughs> is with us tonight. Oh, it looks like we're dating. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, listen, you got to tell me, because I was going to have you call in. you got to tell me about the film festival. Come yes, closer. Yes. Come closer. Yes, that's good. That's good. Oh, my God. I'm tell so me about the fest <clears throat> film festival. The what Golden happened? Door Film Festival. International Film Festival. I keep on forgetting it. It was, uh, this past weekend, it was fantastic. I mean, uh, Michelle Savino and uh, Bill Savino. Are they, uh, Sorvino's, are they related to? Uh, they are. They yeah. are, yes, yes. Wow. Uh, there is a, a bloodline that runs, and they created this uh, great festival. Hudson County, New Jersey film festival at the Lowe's Theater in Jersey City, a historic theater down there. Uh, I don't know if you ever seen been down there. Right? I've, I've been past it when I was Ubering. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, we're both Uber drivers, by the way. A Lyft. Oh, you're um, a Lyft guy. Yeah, yeah well, that's true. You know, yeah, you kind of went up like right. a little bit. So, like, you're better than me now, right? You're a little better than never, me? Yeah, never, never. Yeah. Well, that means you have five seatbelts. I only have four. I can't be a Lyft driver. You know that. That's no, I didn't rule. know that, really. you got to have five. You have to have five seatbelts. I got them, yeah. I got the so, one. So, wait, did you get an award or something? No, um, you know, uh, I, I'm a judge in the film festival, Okay. and uh, I was watching all these movies, and I have my own movie, so uh, I, I noticed that uh, the movies were being selected for the film festival, and all the slots were being filled and everything, and then once everything was accepted and stuff, I said, Michelle, I have a movie, I was wondering if there was a slot available to just screen it. Really? And she found a slot for me. Oh so I really didn't God. want to keep anybody out of the festival if there was something at the end. Right. And, and you know, I, I had a slot and we had a great time. But I saw the pictures. That gala was huge. Yeah, yeah. How many huge. films were submitted? I mean, how many films made it? Oh, over a hundred, I think. There were really? uh, five different venues, tons of short films, from student films to uh, comedies, feature films, music videos, animation. You know, and then they give awards for best actor and actress. It's really top notch. And what you know? is uh, what is this new American dress room thing? I want to okay. talk about that. Yes, uh, my uh, my friend Carmine Cangelosi of uh, beautiful Long Island uh, wrote this screenplay years ago. He told me about it. He was trying to you know shop it around. Sure enough, he shopped it around and met a few investors. Billy Joel is a uh, is consultant on on the movie. What is it about a lot in Long Island? Uh, it's about a, 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 a guy who drives from Long Island out to uh, uh, Pacific Northwest on his motorcycle. Wow. He wants to take one more trip. 
kind of American dresser. Tom Berenger is in it. And you're in it too. And I'm in it too. So he called me and said, hey, there's a, a role for a douchebag. Why don't you come up to... Yeah. So you play... Like, I, I, I look like I do now. And uh, uh, my line was... Is get, that like a... What? That's a douchebag look? I, I, I don't know. Right no, now. you're adorable. Like yeah. So uh, uh, I think my line was, get the fuck out of the car, you piece of shit. And I pull it. Now we're going to go. We, Jimmy has to give us an explicit rating because you said that. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh man. man. It was a family show with the Santoros of Paramus. I keep forgetting. Oh, in fact, you know, Mr. Santoro called me and he said, uh, you better get down there. And whatever he says, I do. You know what I mean? Wow. So those, you, uh, you fought the rains. Yeah. Down in Africa. Well, I live right across the bridge. Yeah, that's I true. I could have walked here. Yeah, yeah you're, the you're an Inglewood guy now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so it was very exciting this past weekend. Had it screened there, and I got to see all these great student films. I'm a teacher in, in Jersey. Did you start teaching yet this year? I did. I did. Well, I start did. tomorrow. Yes, with the great uh, Greg Askeles and Rob Meyer back in... Uh, You're teaching with Greg, both of those guys? Yes, yes. The media arts department. Oh, my mad. God. Yes, we're mad. All right. So, uh, listen, yes. uh, you know who's going to call in and... Y- and you have given her a hard time in, in the past, but my cousin Rena is calling in now because she's doing the weather report. She is our family meteorologist. So do you think you can not throw the Yankee Red Sox thing at her? Because now I'm, after the, we go off camera, I'm going to beat you up for what you did to my bobbleheads. I brought my own. I didn't even where's touch your, yours. I brought my own. Where's your, I have my own. Where are they? Red Sox bobbleheads. I never really Yo, took yours really? off the shelf. Yes, oh, yes. okay. You by, think I would touch your bobbleheads? Uh, listen, by the way, congratulations. Your Yankees have made the playoffs. Oh, come on. You want me to say congratulations to me? I, 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 I just I, said I, I said congratulations to you. That's right. We'll see you in Boston, FF. Yeah, yeah we'll see you there. We'll see you there. All right. Rena is calling in. Oh, Be boy, nice oh, now. Boy. Behave yourself. This was a surprise visit. Oh, my God. Rena, hold on. Let me put you on speaker. Hi. Hi, cousin Rena Berge. Go Yankees. Hi, honey. Oh no! Did you have you seen who broke into my apartment? Um, I was there last week with the bobbleheads. I mean, he was destroying everything. Yeah, I know. He made a mess, and now he's trying to tell me that those were his Red Sox bobbleheads that he brought in. <laughs> like anybody believes that load? Holy mackerel. Yeah, no. No, no. I think we have the footage. We have the- yes, we do have the <laughs> no, footage. No, I was, I was all off camera. I made sure. Believe me, it was calculated. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Rena, fill us in. Rena is, by the way, our family meteorologist. Rena is going to fill us in on the weather. We know that it's rain. It's come hell or high water in Jersey. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, it's crazy, right? right? We'll have to talk about this. What's happening in Massachusetts? Cars and stuff, that's why everything is uh, flooding. No, I, Massachusetts is actually scattered here. Scattered showers. Yeah. Uh, uh, has oh, anything so flooded so out there? Not today. Uh, it, it's been raining all day, but I think it's uh, like a slower pace. Okay. Tonight, we'll see what happens. Last right. week, uh, exactly a week ago, even Montville Ave and Stoneham flooded. Wow, really? That never happens, yeah. Montvale Avenue in Stoneham is like a big street, and that's where the Montvale Plaza is, where many, many, many weddings. How about Faneuil Hall? <laughs> you know what? You are so resentful of the... Bu- he, did you hear he's making fun of Faneuil Hall now? What the hell's wrong with him? Faneuil Hall, whatever the fuck he's doing. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, my... You, now another explicit that Jimmy has to put so on. sorry, Jimmy. You just... So you're ruining the show. You know, he broke into my apartment. I'm in the middle of doing my show, and I hear, like, jingling, it? jingling keys, and then that's again, it. I think, again, I think we have an addiction. We have footage of this. We have footage, <laughs> yeah. There's no getting around it, Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And I didn't even clean the apartment because after the Santoro said they weren't coming, I thought, well, secretly I was relieved because I didn't have to clean the apartment. You know, I'm not right. a big fan and of to, bursting into a cleaning thing, you know. And you had to cook all that chicken. I saw you meticulously turning every piece of chicken. I did. I made this delicious chicken, which I'm going to have to talk about after uh, in a little while. And Chris was nice enough to offer to help me eat it. Yes. Oh, thank God, because there's nothing worse than wasted food. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be wasted, trust me. But, yes, Chris said, I, I saw the chicken and I wanted to come help you eat it. That's the only reason. Yeah. Selfish reasons. Yeah. Single guy. You know. Single guy. You're single again? I thought you were dating. What happened to the Colombian girl? 
<laughs> Didn't you have a Colombian girlfriend a half a second ago? Oh my god! You yeah. know what? I broke my phone for like a week, and uh, I, something happened, and I think it's over. Oh, all right, okay. So you're single again, girls? He's available. Yeah, yeah. Listen, when he's on the show, he's always going to say he's single. Not he always. Video proof. <laughs> well, no, he, I, I know he has to do that, but now I think he really is single again. Okay. All right. Well, Rena, thank you for calling in as always. She didn't, oh, she what? Didn't, she didn't want. I, I thought she was going to give the weather, but you. She did give okay. the weather. She right. said it was scattered. Sh- You're not no listening. Temperature? No temperature. All right. Scattered what? Scattered showers, 112. Rena, what's the temperature? He wants yeah. to know. Like he really cares. But anyway. It's tomorrow. It's going to be high. Like it's going to be lucky tomorrow. Right now, it's about 70. 70. Okay. So okay. It's going to be like 80 tomorrow. Like 80. It's going to be like you know muggy. Yeah, it's still like it. humid, but it's crazy. It's fall. You know. I know. And Ron, Ron told me today that my husband, Ron, is a, as you know, is a mail carrier, so he was out, and I said, how was it out there? And he said it was raining buckets, and he said he got a concussion. He got a concussion? <laughs> a raining bucket. Oh, no. Oh, wow. so, no, that's not, but yeah, okay, all right. What are we going to do? You know. I, I know. I know. I know his humor. All right. You know what? I was missing his. La- he laughs afterwards, so I was missing the laugh. He actually laughs at his own jokes. That's the best part. Most Boston Red Sox fans. You know what? He Chris is so jealous right now. No. All right. Well, listen, Rena. Thank we're gonna you. We're going to replay that. We're going to replay that footage, and we're going to see the bobblehead. Yeah. Yeah. Like and, a Zapruder yeah. film. Besides, Silvana, Silvana will vouch for. Oh, Silvana. Exactly. She'll throw you under the bus in a half a second. Oh. I know she will. Silvana is with us now. Hi, Silvana. She's so cute. Silvana was all dolled up for the film thing. Oh my God! You should have seen her at the closing night party. Yeah, she was. She wore her. Uh, her uh, <laughs> she was almost naked. Right? Rob Myers said she he stole a she stole a curtain down from the theater and put it <laughs> oh on. My God. It was a very beautiful red velvet dress. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. Rena, next time you come to visit, you have to meet these wacky friends of mine. Absolutely. Wait. All right. I right, right, love you, honey. Bye. Go Yankees. Oh, oh unbelievable. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, she stuck in. I didn't hear it. All right. Yes. So, let's say, Silvana has joined us. Silvana, I don't know if I got to tell you, honey, but thank you for running the show while I was away and keeping an eye on this rascally rabbit. <laughs> Lynn Portis has joined us. I mean, who's better than Lynn Portis? Nobody. Nobody. Beautiful. So, Lynn wrote the music for Miami or Bust the Hoboken Bet. Right? Yeah. She what put the whole amazing whole experience Vulcan. with her where she just watched the scene and she I, she stood in front of her uh, synthesizer and just made the music up as we watched the movie. It was amazing. Amazing. It and, was the, amazing. and that music was so good. The under, I mean, the songs were funny, but the yeah. underscoring was so amazing. Yeah, I, I told her I, I wanted a, an Italian Benny Hill sounding and she came up with this just this da 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 It was so funny and it, it's, it's played That's out. That's exactly what it was, Italian Washington. Benny Hill. Exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, you know, we have reached the part of our show called. Oh. Yeah, hey! Oh my no, God. No, no. How many times? I'm so sorry. How many times? I wrote it down during my no, show. You don't even have to write it down. It's go ahead, keep, keep eating. Keep eating. Now do it. Go ahead, ahead. Keep, keep eating. eating. All right, so this is what we have. Now I did this because Renee, this is what Renee's request. And I made little plays because I thought it was just me, but now you Let me show it first. All right, so this is the... It smells good. The delicious chicken that I, uh, I kind of pan-fried sautéed today. So here's what's in here. Of course, garlic. You have to start with that. Uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil. Then I put chives, parsley, oregano, white wine, lemon. Holy moly. Holy moly. It's Healthy. absolutely delicious. Right, but it's healthy. Okay, uh, and then we're gonna have that. I got a whole thing of it, and then and I have a huge thing of salad there. I made a salad of romaine lettuce, um, little baby uh, grape uh, tomatoes, mm. delicious, right? English cucumber. Mm. All right, that's the long one. Yeah. <laughs> that's the long cucumber, not the little ones. These the baby ones, and then the long one. Right. Okay, so I've been lo- called the Irish cucumber. Have you? Yeah. Oh, all right, so something I didn't know about you, something I really didn't need to know about you. Okay, so the Irish cucumber, yes. Irish cube, I mean the English cucumber. Or zucchini, I thought. Um, it looks like a zucchini. And then just white um, white onions and 
my favorite Sicilian olives. They look beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna put some red wine vinegar Holy and smokes. extra virgin olive oil. A little salt and pepper, you and I are gonna Extra hit this. virgin. Wow. Yeah, and you know what I have in the freezer, which I didn't take out for dessert, but it's in the freezer, is delicious raspberry sorbet. Oh my so god. That's so what we're having. Good. Isn't that good? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Ah, All right. So lucky. So now let's check. Oh my god, Mandar, you know Mandar, chick magnet. Okay, we're, I heard, I heard. We're I starting heard. a new thing now. So we have Leo Rodriguez, right? And then we have Gina Savino. Oh my God, did Gina join us yet? I don't know I, if I saw Gina. She didn't watch the show that I uh, zing exactly. I can't zing believe it. Gina, are you not on the show? No, Silvana said something. Silvana said, said something. Let's see what oh, Silvana uh, happy stars, rainbows. No, st- and don't make fun of it. Silvana, you hear him? Guys. Love you guys. See, that's beautiful. Yeah. And and I and actually during the unicorn <laughs> thing that she did talk about, she did choose the right, you know, that unicorn riddle about the would just ride the star. Whatever that was, I was listening to your podcast. That's correct. And she did cho- make the right thing. We need to build uh, <laughs> arcs. I know it's pouring buckets. <laughs> I know, Marisa, it's, it's crazy. Just about my hair. I know. Chris will eat all the chicken. I know he will, thank God. Mandar, now we have to, we're starting a new thing. You know how we have Leo Rodriguez yes. and all that stuff? And Gina Savino, where we clap. I don't know what Gina is tonight, though. Maybe she's not here. We have to start Mandar, Chick, Mandar. Magnet. So we have to go Mandar, Mandar Chick, Chick, Magnet. magnet. Okay. That's it. All right, everybody, Mandar, Chick, Magnet. Because everywhere I see Mandar, He's surrounded by chicks. Wow. That's it. Chick Magnet. And he's quite the dancer, you know, Mandar. Oh, really? Does like a Bollywood dance. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. He's I, not never, I don't think I've ever Bollywood danced. No, neither have I. But no. when I watch Mandar Bollywood dance, I all of a sudden want to. Yeah. I want to learn those, you know, those crazy moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And he's got, but he puts a little hip hop in there, too. Yeah. He puts a little hip hop in there. That's pretty good. Yeah, really? Pretty close, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me see. We have six minutes left. I'm so glad you joined. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you want to uh, call anybody else? Have another call in? or No, we don't have any more call-ins, but I do want to tell you no, that... No, we eat after the show, you're saying. Yeah, we're going to uh, eat after. You're not going to eat now. Okay. Because we're not done yet. Can I talk uh, something real quick? Yeah, whatever you want. Uh, five boroughs in Jersey. That's my new project, my new movie. What is it? It's about a guy who gets chased through Jersey in the five boroughs. And, uh, that's five boroughs in Jersey? Uh, and Jersey. Oh, so, five boroughs and Jersey. That's correct. Uh-huh. So it would be for five boroughs of New York uh-huh. and Jersey. Yes. Did you write this film? I did. Oh, my God. I'm writing I'm writing it with Michael Perry. Well, I don't know so if you funny. ever heard of Michael of Perry. Of course I heard of He's Michael Perry. He's a Miami Perry. bust. Yeah. And uh, we're going to cast soon. Uh, we'll put notices out, and we're going to shoot in the springtime and hopefully submit it. To the Golden Film Festival. Oh my Golden God. Golden Door. Can you give film us. Festival. I love this. This like is really it? You cool. Want it? Yeah. No, no, you keep it. You sure? Yeah. How many you got of those shirts? One. No, you keep it. If you had like a box, I would take them. I would take one. But no, you keep that. You earn that. Now, listen, what is this movie about? Can you tell us a little something? Uh, yeah, basically, Michael Perry uh, plays a practical joke on somebody, and they say, go get that guy, and I'll give you a lot of money. And Michael takes off, and he first he runs down into the path into Manhattan, and then uh, is it like another madcap? Yes, one of the, I love yes. these are my favorites. Like the first person run. Michael runs into in uh, Hell's Kitchen is uh, Kevin Alexander and Michael Gargani. Oh no! Yeah, and uh, insane. This, and of course, there's a role for you. There a is. bigger role, more than one line. Oh yeah, well yes. I liked my role in your uh, Miami bus. I did. But, I was the know. crazy betting lady on the phone. Yeah, you were at the path too. That was the. I was the at path the path shot. train. Was, uh, yeah. yeah. We right. shot that in two seconds. We did. That was and really I'd fun. I'd like to go back to the uh, uh, raw footage and see what we got there. Yeah. Send a, uh, Anything you want. You know I'll jump in on a, a roll anytime. I'm a big ham. Plus, I love you. Yes. Yeah, so so I'll do it. I would never come into your home and touch your bobbleheads. Ever. Okay, so we're, that's something that I'm well, not going to forget. Lesbian, huh? <laughs> you know what? Maybe not everybody knew. Oh, knew. my God. Yes, everybody knew. Maybe not everybody did. You know, uh, come on. You talked about Judy listen, so many times. It's uh, Beth housewife or... You know, it could go either way. I'm in the business. Yes. Anyway, oh my God, look who's here. Gina Savino. Gina Savino, everybody. Hi, Gina. We were just she talking. She didn't watch my you. show. She did. Uh, Gina really wants to know how big his part is. Why don't you look Gina's, between your... Nah, stop it I'm right so now. Sorry. Gina, let me tell you something. You're going to have to go back and watch the show because it was crazy. 
and uh, Chris DiPiero was not on the show with me at all. I was, did it by myself. Had Collins, and then he broke into my apartment. I, I had keys. I had well, the keys. I he has keys. I gave him keys, keys because I was just happening. So okay. I was in the neighborhood. But uh, anyway, he was in the neighborhood. Coffin. So, listen, Washington Heights is good for many things. So we are happy that you're here. Uh, again, the explicit. Mandar. Chick. Chick Magnet. Magnet. Ma That's a new thing. Can uh, I say it real quick? Yeah, you say it. Leo Rodriguez. That's it. Uh, and then we got Gina Savino, everybody. Uh, and now, Savannah. Hello. Well, we got to do something Boy, about Savannah. <laughs> We're funny. We got Thank you, Savannah. She's my biggest fan. Savannah is the best. She is. Have you guys listened to your podcast? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's really good. If you go to, by the way, hey, and we, uh, how much time we got, Jimmy? A minute. A minute. Thank you, Jimmy Bell of Armed Radio, armeddigitalmedia.com, Armed Radio Global. He is our engineer and producer and a wonderful guy. We appreciate you very much, Jimmy. Come back next week. Uh, Chris Sapiro, when are you starting uh, Pizza Time again? Anytime soon? Um, pretty soon. Pretty soon. Uh, so a lot of great things are happening with Chris Piero. Follow him. Friend him. He's my friend. Friend him. He'll, he'll accept your friend request. We love you and appreciate you. Have a wonderful week. Stay dry. And thank you for checking out our show week after week <laughs> after week. We love you. Bye. Uh.